and welcome to the Daily Decrypt. I'm your host Amanda B. Johnson coming to you from a tea shop today and today's episode is brought to you by the Merkel. So today I wanted to talk to you a bit about where I come from and how I came to be interested enough in cryptocurrency to make a show called the Daily Decrypt. My first interest in money came about as a result of the 2008 financial crash, I guess. I was uh, young and, and living alone in Los Angeles, of all places, and uh, it hit me hard uh, in, in the way that I know it hit a lot of other people hard. And it really caused me to wonder, okay, so what is this magical thing called the economy that people keep saying crashed? How does it crash? How did it go bad? What, what did we not do? And so it was this line of internal questioning that led me to start picking up some books on the topics of economies and why they might crash, that sort of thing. And that line of inquiry eventually led me to the Mises Institute. And I was actually lucky enough to have been gifted a, an, by an anonymous person, like a my attendance at a week-long program called Mises University. And it was at Mises University that I first learned that there is no thing, no commodity, no good, no service, no nothing that is exempt from the laws of economics. And what do I mean by that? What I mean is, if money is subject to the laws of economics, supply and demand basically, and if competition in general always makes industries and goods and services better, well then, hell, competition in money must also make money better. And that, dear viewer, is why the Daily Decrypt exists as a celebration of competition in currency. So you may be thinking, well, there was currency competition before. We have dollars, yen, euros, even silver and gold. Certainly that's currency competition, and I agree. The main difference that I believe cryptocurrency brings to the table is technological superiority in how easily exchangeable cryptocurrencies are for one another. It makes them compete harder, which I believe makes them better and will continue to make them better. There's actually a quote from the namesake of the Mises Institute, Ludwig von Mises, and I wish I could remember it exactly. I cannot, but I will present it as well as I can remember it because it's really, I think, the crux of why I believe cryptocurrency is the future. It goes something like this. If it were ever possible for each individual to be their own self-governing unit, it would have to happen. Only due to technical limitations is governance based on arbitrary geography. And this leads us to the question, what do money and governance have to do with each other? Could money and governance perhaps be so interrelated that it's almost silly that we think of them as separate things? I mean, think about it. Every sort of governing structure that we think of in the world has its own money, does it not? Perhaps money and governance are so interrelated that we are seeing the brand new era of, the fir for the first time, real liquid competition in money governance. Governance money. Call it what you will. It's currency. And that's just what I think is so exciting, basically. Uh, <laughs> it seems like atmospheres in which there's lots of competition present are generally nicer places to be. And people are nicer to each other and standards of living and quality of life are generally higher. And in areas of life where there's less competition or no competition, it seems like those are always the worst places to be. The places with the lowest standards of living and, and the least amount of fun, really. And so that is why I bring you the Daily Decrypt. I am so interested in providing you as much value as I can, so please keep leaving me feedback in the comments telling me how I can make this show better, of higher value to you, and basically how I can compete better. <laughs> I invite you to visit the newly launched thedailydecrypt.com, which sponsored shout out was made for us by The Dash Guy. The Dash Guy, his name is Jake. He calls himself our, our biggest fan, I think. He is a web designer who works for cryptocurrency. You can see 
what his work looks like both at our website and his website, thedashguy.com, and if I may say so, like comparatively compared to other price quotes I've gotten from people, his prices are quite good. And I know he works at an even steeper discount for Dash. So if you need a website built, feel free to visit thedashguy.com. Tell him I sent you. Today's Tea House episode has been brought to you by the Merkel, who is publishing between five and eight news stories per day. And they really cover a wide range of topics. They have sometimes cultural commentary pieces, and then they have your sort of more like fintech headline news pieces. And they're rounding that all out with thorough technical analyses of various coins. So you can find more of their useful offerings at themerkle.com. Subscribe to this channel, tell your friends, leave me a comment, and have a great day.